way. Big boy basketball game, wasn't it? It was a grinder for sure. I, I thought the thing that stood out to me, what I learned today about our team was against a good team, you can get down 7 nothing and respond, or you can go 1 for 11 from 3 and 0 for 3 from the line and find a way to de defend and rebound and grind against an elite-level rebounding team and give yourself a chance in the second half when your offense was not – you know, I, I don't want to say it wasn't good. We were 7 assists, 3 turnovers, and I thought we had some great looks. We just didn't make them. And then in the second half, if I could pick one thing I thought we did a little bit better offensively, I thought we penetrated a little bit better. But we got some of the same looks in the second half, shot 46%, 42 from three, went 10 for whatever we did, 18 from the free throw line. We finally started making some free throws, but 15 assists on 23 field goals to five turnovers against a team that really turns people over. And then to rebound the way that we did, we won an ugly grinder game and a lot of them, as you guys know from following us here lately, have been up and down and sexy. You know, I, I thought for us to win that style of game, you know, good teams have an ability to win against different styles. And I, I, I thought that was probably the thing I learned the most. It seemed to me I might have a little bit more energy, a little more emotion today than oh, you did, did you want to say it? Two days in a row. I've been on him to be a little bit nastier, and I, I, he answered the bell. I was really proud of him. I thought he played with toughness. I thought he contributed to our team at both ends of the floor, both offensively and defensively. And obviously Ray's doing what he's doing. And Malcolm had a big second half for you. What do you think about the way he played? Well, both those guys you know, are, are, are elite-level scorers. They have the ability to score so many different ways, and they make us a better basketball team when they're aggressive. I thought overall we were much more aggressive in the second half than we were in the first half. And obviously Ray and Malcolm had a lot to do with that. So like bringing them a trophy. Well, that's great. I mean, for us, obviously, it's a long season, but I want them to enjoy this one. That's a great win. You know, that's a great win. So we've got to, you know, get back and do the best we can to transition back to Eastern time zone pretty quickly and obviously have a big challenge in front of us on Tuesday night. It's not the kind of question that you uh, normally like to respond to, but where do you, does this one rank with all the... Uh, that's a great one. I, Rob, I don't know. I mean, we've had some good ones. Uh, if you're in this long enough, you have some good ones and you have some bad ones. You know, it just I, obviously I, I think it's great for this team in the maturation process. It's it's the most impressive one this season thus far, mm -hmm. and not not only because of the opponent and because it was a championship game, but I think because of the way we did it, we just mm -hmm. showed some real grit, and I love that about the win. I know LeBron's got some history with these guys. Did you have to talk to him at all to not get too high or emotional? Or anything he like was that? a little bit hyped, but he was good. I liked his energy as well. Um, you know, his, it, it, as we've talked before, he's very physical. It's just kind of who he is, and we got to figure out how to scale that back a little bit and uh, be physical uh, without foul. And then the last thing for me, I noticed you didn't go to Austin early, but he gave you some, some big minutes there, and you got a good big pick back. I thought it was the biggest play of the game. And there he is. Because they cut it to uh, – cut it to – basically one possession I think it cut it to three you know it had been three possessions and uh, they turned us a couple times there and they cut it to three he gets the big tip in I took it back to five I thought that was a really big play that was my other question too but I, I kind of want to follow it with you know you waited to have him I mean he didn't come in until late in the game and you were counting the fouls between Maverick and Nana and they got in trouble and you had to go to Austin. Yeah, he did a great job. Obviously, it was a big tip in, a big play for us. All three of those guys got to be ready. And uh, when their number's called, and that was the thing I was most proud of Austin, I mean, it was a big play. It's going to give you a boost of confidence to put him in a situation like that in the future. Oh, sure. Yeah, and he did that last year at Penn State as well. Mm -hmm. So he's shown that he can do it, and uh, now he's got to do it consistently. Thanks, John. Thanks.